Let's take a closer look at the legend. The legend is also referred to as the table of contents and is used to control the layers that are displayed on the map. You'll notice three tabs at the top. Let's start with the Flow2D Layers tab. Just below the tab you'll see a pull-down menu. This is used for selecting the model run of interest. The Luke Air Force Base Flow2D model is used for this example, and there are with and without levy model runs available to review. There is a horizontal slider that can be found just below the pull-down menu, which can be used to adjust the transparency of all the Flow2D layers. The various Flow2D layers are available for the selected model run listed below the slide bar. These layers are organized by project grid, other components, input data, and output data. Let's start with the project grid. This layer represents the Flow2D model grid and will be displayed automatically when the map is at an appropriate zoom scale. The grid ID and elevation of the grid will be displayed when zoomed in even further. The components available within the Other Components layer group include width reduction factors, levees, hydraulic structures, typically culverts, and predefined point and line floodplain cross sections, swim inlets, and outlets. Refer to the tutorial and user guide or the Flow2D reference manual provided with the software for descriptions of each. The components available within the Input Data layer group include the locations of Flow2D input, such as the locations of inflow hydrographs, storm drain inlets, and green and amped infiltration parameters. The purpose of the Input Data layers is to visualize the various model input parameters for visual review and to assist with the identification of inconsistencies or data conflicts. The input data identifies whether a specific grid has data of a given type using colored symbology or icon symbols, but specific val values are not shown. For example, grids containing levees have an L icon, but there is no information to tell the viewer which grid side is blocked. Retrieval of attribute data is addressed later. Finally, the Output Data Layer group includes Flow2D output results such as maximum flow depth, maximum velocity, and maximum discharge, also displayed using colored symbology.